Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm going to cover new updates regarding the 4680 cells. The new battery pack looks like to be in the Model Y standard range. Yes, you heard right, not the Model Y long range or performance that we were all actually expecting it to be. So first of all, we have updates on the website in the code in the background and we see that the new Model Y standard range um, that we have seen before in the EPA document, we saw clearly that the Model Y standard range will come. Now we have the indications on the website. So Tesla Adrian was actually mentioning that on Twitter. So that currently means that Troy Tesla was pretty um, right here that the Model Y standard range that we saw with the new range estimates of around 279 miles on the uh, event here in Austin. Um, this is the one that they will produce here in Austin right now. And that is going to happen with the 4680 cells. We will dive into that why this is the right strategy and the Model Y long range and performance will continue to come from Fremont. So maybe that is the new strategy when it comes about scaling. Scaling means as many cars as possible. So you go with a standard range that more people can afford. And we are looking into here the difference between standard and long range. And we see a difference when it comes to the cells needed, which makes a lot of sense because of course the cells are big, bigger for the standard range. But if we are looking into um, a battery pack that the long range or performance would need, um, Tesla would need much more sales to actually start producing a battery pack. And so they have now the limited supply of 4680 cells with them, they can do more cars as the battery pack is much smaller. So if you have a million battery cells producing them with 4680 size, um, you would be capable of doing around 14 to 1500 cars with a standard range. But if you would do a pack for the long range or performance, you would just look at around about like 400 cars. So when it comes about scaling, they could t use the standard range here in Austin to scale the production rate at the same pace as Kettle Road and of course the production facility in Austin that is supposed to start in April right now, um, scaling at the same time. And with that um, supporting the demand for a bit cheaper car than the long range and the performance. And this would be scaling at a certain level that Elon Musk was talking about at his speech because if we are talking about scaling, it's about reaching as many people as possible. And that is what they can do with the standard range. We also see some puffer here um, and foam that is going to um, give the car more safety, especially when it comes to crashes. And it is um, kind of like a safety in the event of a collision. I do really like to see that. So the safety ratings that have already been um, near to perfection will get even better because it's pretty much um, no chance that you can catch fire if you have certain um, levels of security here in the battery pack. So you guys now can tell me your opinion, what you think if that is the right strategy that Tesla is doing here, but it clearly shows that Tesla might do the same thing in the European market as well. They start with the performance. Now in two or three weeks, we will have the long range. And once the long range is ramped up, the Model Y performance is ramped up. The Model Y standard range will come with the 4680 cells at the end of the year, ramping with the same speed as the battery factory. And so the other versions get still the 2170 pack. So don't wait for a 4680 battery pack in a performance or long range variant that might be not happening very soon. And this makes a lot of sense. Tesla is making a lot of money with the long range and the performance variant. Now they go towards the standard range. It is supposed to be less weight. It's supposed to be higher energy density. Um, so they need less battery cells to achieve a certain amount of range. So um, if you consider that Tesla might make much more money as with the LFP batteries 
that they currently have inside the standard range in China. So um, let's see how this is all playing out. I'm actually very excited if that would be the case that is already currently the start of scaling to enormous size, enormous numbers, and they could scale very quickly with the amount of batteries that they get here in Austin. They have talked about half a million cars per year. Um, if it's one million cars they will initially produce in Austin, I think they could reach even more. There is space for, for example, 300,000 cyber trucks and 200,000 robo taxis at some point. Now we have more updates for the entertainment system. We see Disney Plus, which was included now in the last version as well for Canada. So I'm expecting updates in the United States and Europe coming soon as well. So um, it's nice to have that getting approved um, in Canada, hopefully outside the US soon as well. So more stuff in the entertainment system. That is also an important business for Tesla to have that unique unique entertainment system compared to all the competition out there. This is something that people are craving for. So again, guys, we do see that the strategy change might be already happening before Elon Musk even publishes its new master plan. So I'm expecting big things to come in the next few weeks. It all depends on the scale that Tesla has when it comes to the production. And so we will see how fast this is going. Then we have additional mobile app controls. So for the dock mode and the camp mode, um, which is now enabled from the Tesla app. Um, so you need the app version 4.7.0. But nevertheless, if you do have that, you can control that from your current um, app. Now, a bit of a fun story from Germany. Actually, um, we had here someone changing its tires. And now, yeah, Euromaster thought, oh, that's not an AV. Um, let's control the uh, Model 3 for its oil. Um, but the fun part is they actually said the oil is very low and you need to change your oil. Um, the fun fact is they don't even need to do that because it makes no sense. So you guys see um, lots of work to do to um, yeah, establish um, knowledge about EVs in the industry. And I hope this will happen very soon. So please let me know if you're new to my channel, by the way, do consider subscribing and please let me know what you think about the strategy change, because that's a major move here. We all expected the performance and the long range variant to receive the 4680 cells. But now it looks like a way different strategy. And I haven't seen any reviews online from the cars here in Texas. Please let me know why this is happening. If you're from the United States, maybe you know more about that. So thank you very much for being here. I wish you a wonderful Sunday.